Good afternoon, this is Brian Kuzmar from Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Beautiful day out there, I hope your day is wonderful as well. I'm uh, going to give you a really quick report today on Tuesday for uh, what's happening in precious metals. Let's take a look here. Uh, currently, the New York markets, I usually give you this report after New York close, but it's, it's holding on to that 1800 level, and it's actually kind of hedged up a little bit. 1810 currently, let's see the low is 1793 and a high of 1811 so gold is hanging on to that 1800 level haven't seen that pullback i kind of was expecting 25 dollars maybe a 50 dollars pullback uh and maybe even more but it wouldn't last long in my opinion but still i was kind of waiting to see it still haven't seen it so let's see what happens um Oh, I'm sorry. The New York market is closed. My apology. I was looking at the world markets. New York is closed right now, and it looks like the world spot prices are staying about the same. Silver, wow. Uh, closed at 1945, uh, New York. And let's see, a low in 1900 and a high in 19, uh, I'm sorry, $19.45. So it looks like it's hanging on to that $19 level again. Same thing. I was expecting a little pullback. Haven't seen it. Uh, we still could. Um, and again, you know, don't wait for it. I, I think these levels are still completely fine, and we're, and we're in a, you know, a kind of a medium long-term bull here, I believe, uh, short-term bull even, from what it looks like. However, uh, I wouldn't hesitate buying at these levels. If you see a nice little pullback, because I know I talk about pullbacks, uh, buy it if you're there and it happens. But if you don't, don't, don't sweat it. Uh, even at these current levels, you're fine, in my opinion. Uh, platinum, let's see, 817, 817, 1838. About a $20 range there, not too much. Uh, down a little bit on uh, the world prices. And again, uh, everything kind of a little bit down on the close from yesterday. But again, maintaining that $1,800, that $19 level, and that $800 plus uh, platinum level. Just take a quick look at the Wall Street Journal uh, because you never know what kind of news may make gold go up tomorrow, next week, or next year. I don't see any tomorrow news here. Uh, I don't really see too much next week news for gold here. Overall, stuff like this, banks get ready for a wave of uh, coronavirus loan defaults, is not good for the economy, is not good for the U.S. dollar, is really not good for anybody. Fortunately, it's good for gold and silver. So while I said I didn't see any tomorrow or next week kind of movement from any headlines here, uh, when you constantly see things like this on a daily basis, banks get ready for uh, loan defaults, um, you know, and just negative economic news and, and news that the Fed just keeps printing and printing. You know, that's just all long-term uh, building blocks for a really good base for gold and silver prices. So keep buying. I think you're, you're fine at these levels. Again, even if we don't see a little decrease in prices, uh, just keep buying. I think you're completely fine. Anyway, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Call us anytime at 954-493-8811 between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Mondays through Fridays. We're open, happy to help you. Come on in as well. We buy and sell all these uh, different types of gold and silver products, and we do other things as well, uh, but we'll talk about gold and silver here. And uh, we've got a couple good deals on some gold eagles and some American buffaloes we have right now. We're out of uh, the maple leaves, the uh, less expensive maple leaves we had, uh, but we're getting more product in all the time, and our product is real, and we're here, and we're here to explain it to you and give you the best advice. Thanks for watching and uh, give you some uh, more tips and uh, we'll go over the gold prices tomorrow. See you then. Bye.